and just looking back at your rookie year, is this kind of what, what you expected? Do you look back and say, gee, I should have done better? Gee, you know, I did great or somewhere in between? Um, it's definitely somewhere in between. There's definitely some things that I did well this season that I will take and, and continue to, you know, try to improve on. And there's some things that I didn't do well this year that I need to get corrected and, and need to take a huge step forward in year two. Um, you know, I, I, I'm not satisfied with the way I played this year. I, I know what I didn't. Everybody says, "Oh, it's a great rookie year." I, I'm not playing to be a great rookie. I'm, you know, I'm playing to be the best in the league, and, and um, hopefully in year two I'll be able to take a huge step forward and into that, into accomplishing that goal. Um, and, and we're gonna have a hell of an off season getting ready to do it. What do you, are you doing with it? different this offseason or have you kind of mapped well, out a plan? Well, uh, I've kind of got a mapped out plan, yeah. This is my first offseason where I've, you know, been on my own for this, which is kind of different. It's uh, nice and bad at the same time. It, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm going to be able to go home. I'm going to go see my, my girlfriend and, and my family at, at home in Philly for a while. And uh, I'll probably be mixing it back up here. And then I'll be spending some time with old Mr. Staley in San Diego for a little bit, too. So it'll be a good time, yeah. Uh, whatever he's got planned, you know, he's the, th he's the, he'll be on, I guess he's a 13 year vet now. So, um, whatever, uh, whatever wisdom he's going to be channeling in namaste, you know what I mean? <laughs> how much do you look forward to the chance to, to actually train for football and instead of having to drive? Oh yeah, it's how much can I help you? so much better. You know, I, I'm not a, you, you get to train in that, in that whole little three or four month period, like a track athlete. And that's not what I am. I don't. I'm not trying to run, run sprints and be the fastest 40 yard guy. I, you know, I'm going to get in there and, and bang some weights around and, and train like a football player again, and that's going to be fun. I think, I think that was part of this ch a challenge this uh, this off season is that I wasn't in a normal groove um, for training like you normally do, like training with your guys, training with a strength coach, and and instead of being outsourced to try and run fast and you know get bench reps on the combine. So. Um, it's going to be good and, and exciting to be able to train like a football player again, and um, that's what I love to do. So I uh, can't wait to do it. Are you? Uh, you may not want to give too much away, but you know about when you're going to be joining Staley? Uh, probably sometime in February, late February or March, right okay. before we would probably spend a month or so before we would come up here for uh, off-season program. So right when it gets super cold in the East Coast and it's wow. Well, <laughs> actually, I think it's just starting to turn. Yeah, I think uh, everybody's going to look at me as a crazy. I'm leaving here to go east uh, for for my winter time, and uh, you know, home's where the heart is and where the family is. So I'll uh, I'll bite the bullet on the cold weather to see those guys back there. Who, me and Joe? Yeah, I would assume. I, I'll, I'll miss his, uh, his girls too much. Grace and Audrey are too cute to, to not to talk to every once in a while. So I'll have to send a FaceTime to the Staley family to get my, uh, get my fix at Gracie for sure. He talked about your guys' competitiveness. I mean, when did, when did like, your friendship evolve from like, the early stages into you know, pushing each other? And uh, well, it, probably after um, OTAs or so, the first couple of days of OTAs, when you, I kind of got over the fact that I was, you know, sitting next to him and playing with a guy that was kind of like a role model for me from high school on. Um, once I got over that and took Joe for what he is, and and he became a friend, and once we became close like that, that's when we started to you know dig in and and really start to try and make each other better. And I think uh, that's one of the things that I'm most thankful for this year. Obviously, everybody knows that you guys have been around our team enough to know that Staley and I are. You know, are very close and goofballs and like to, you know, cut it loose a little bit. And um, I'm just so thankful that I had that opportunity because I don't, you know, this year wouldn't have gone the way it did without him. And um, he, told, he taught me a lot of different things early on. And, and then, like you said, we started competing with each other and trying to push each other to be the best that we can be. And which is, you know, when you have somebody that can do that, it's what makes this job a lot of fun. Yeah, it's heartbreaking. Um, you know, especially with the season that we've had, we we were one of the few groups in the NFL that were able to um, keep our five guys pretty consistent. We were we were consistent. Other than Minnesota, I think we, we all five of us played. Or no, we missed one in Ari the second Arizona game. But you know, for us to go through 16 games with all five guys mostly for the most part healthy, it's an impressive feat, and it's heartbreaking to. Um, you know, see Lakin have to go down like that in the last game and just makes his off season just a little bit harder. Uh, I know his wife is probably a little upset they got a baby on the way and now he's going to be rehabbing an MCL. So um, 
it's uh, it's just part of the game, unfortunately. But uh, it's a tough bounce for him, and he'll be back and better than ever, just because that's who Lakin is, and that's the kind of player he is.